गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ पवन कुमार लेक्चर इन एलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एम वी एन जे एस एंड आर वी आर कॉलेज मलकीपुरम इन दिस क्लास आई विल डिस्कस वाट इज मीन बाई डी मल्टीप्लेक्सर एंड टाइप्स ऑफ डी मल्टीप्लेक्सर अप्लीकेशन ऑफ डी मल्टीप्लेक्सर एंड एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ डी मल्टीप्लेक्सर The demultiplexer topic is belongs to second B.Sc. Electronics students in semester three, paper digital electronics. First of all, what is meant by digital uh, demultiplexer? A demultiplexer is a DMUX is a device that takes a single input line and the routes. it is a one of the several digital output lines so the digital output lines means uh, the demultiplexer is a combinational logic circuit you know about the combinational logic circuit the combinational logic circuit is a combination of logic gates its output is depends upon the input combination only so the demultiplexer is also called as combinational logic circuit in this device it takes a single input line and routes it to one of several digital output lines we have to use only single output line in d multiplexer device we get multiple number of outputs in d multiplexer of to f to for an output has n selected lines which has used to select which output line to send the input the reverse of the digital multiplexer is uh, called as the uh, digital multiplexer you know about the d uh, multiplexer function that means one to many function or many to one function this is the multiplexer means many to one function in multiplexer you have to use number of uh, n number of input lines you get only one output that is mean that is the multiplexer in digital uh, d multiplexer you have to use a single input line you have to get an n number of outputs depending upon the you have to select the uh, number of uh, selected lines like n number of selected lines in used in digital multiplexer the this is a process of reverse reverse process of uh, multiplexer in digital uh, d multiplexer two for an output has n selected lines and uh, only one input and uh, number of that means multiple number of outputs you have to require how many mul- uh, outputs are you have to require by selecting the selected lines a d multiplexer is also called as data distributor you can uh, distribute a uh, single to multiple lines these are the data distributor you know about the multiplexer is another name of the multiplexer is uh, data selector so another name of the d multiplexer is called a data distributor you know about the difference between distributor and the data selector which output you have to require uh, the depending upon the combination of uh, input lines You have to select the one number of input in multiplexers. These are the uh, data selectors. You have to select one number of input. But uh, in D multiplexer, you have to expand. You have to uh, use a, a single input line. Then we get a multiple output lines. That means you have to distribute the data in multiple ways. <coughs> D multiplexer can be used to <coughs> implement general purpose logic by setting the input to true the dmux uh, dmux behaves as a decoder another application of the demultiplexer is a decoder it uh, decodes the number of the input lines like characters or numbers or integer parts you have to convert encoding to decoding by using the demultiplexers these are the general purpose logics are used for uh, Used in digital multiplexers, digital multiplexer is also called as DMUX. The shortcut name of the digital multiplexer is called a 
डी मैक्स वी हैव एन ऑब्जर्व द डायग्राम ऑफ डी मल्टीप्लेक्सर वी हैव टू यूज ओनली सिंगल इनपुट एंड वी गेट मल्टीपल नंबर ऑफ एन आउटपुट्स एंड बाय डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द एन नंबर ऑफ सेलेक्टेड लाइंस दिस इज द ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ मल्टीप्लेक्सर सो डी मल्टी डी मल्टीप्लेक्सर अने सिंगि इनपुट यूजा सो सिंगि इनपुट यूज मन की मल्टपल अवटपुट्स अव जो दिन डी मल्टीप्लेक्सर अंत बै डिपेंग अपन दि मल एन नंबर आफ् सेलैक्टर लाइन सो मन की सिंगि इनपुट अने मल्टपल अवटपुट कनवर्टा की एन नंबर आफ् सेलैक्टर लाइन यूजा आने एन नंबर आफ् सेलैक्टर लाइन यूज मन डेटा ने डिस्ट्रिब्यूट दिन डी मल्टीप्लेक्सर अंत सो मल्टीप्लेक्स मन सिंगि सिंगि अवटपुट मत मन की मल्टीप्लेक्सर वस्तु मल्टपल नंबर आफ् फंक्षन अंत इनपुट यूजा अगर सो मन एक्त डेटा कावाल इनपुट मन एक्त डेटा वस्तो आ पर्ट्युर् डेटा सेलैक्ट का दी डेटा सेलैक्टर अटार डी मल्टीप्लेक्सर सो इक डेटा डिस्ट्रिब्यूटी का बट्टी मन सिंगि इनपुट द्वारा इच्छी डेटा अने मल्टपल डेटा कनवर्टी का बट्टी दिन डिस्ट्रिब्यूटर कैटा डिस्ट्रिब्यूटर पीलिस्तम सो डी मल्टीप्लेक्सर मैं डी कोडर्स यूज एन को एन को आफ्टर एन को तरह मैं वे आलोबेटिक्स लाइक क्यार्टर्स सिंबल्स का नंबर का वाट मन की डी प्रोसेस डीडर्स यूज सो शार मैं डी मैक्स पीलिस्तम मल्टीप्लेक्स सो टाइप आफ् डी मल्टीप्लेक्स There are several types of demultiplexers, uh, and a few basic ones are listed as well. These are the different types of demultiplexers used in our digital uh, devices. One into two demultiplexer, one into four demultiplexer, one into eight, and one into six, one into thirty-four, one into sixty-four. These are the different types of uh, uh, types of uh, demultiplexers. In D multiplexers, we have to use a single function like one to many function. In multiplexer, you have to use a many to one function. That means many inputs and only one output in that in your multiplexers. But in digital multiplexer, you have to one to many function. That means only one input you have to get a number of outputs. So that is called one to many function. So you have to see the types of multiplexers one into two. D multiplexer. Here one is represent the number of inputs and two is the number of outputs. You can see the observation, observe the block diagram of D multiplexer. You have to use only single input signal and n number of output signals by depending upon the m control signals. So one into D max. This is the type of uh, D max. One into two D max consists of one data input, one control bit, and out two output bits. These are the I naught and I one are the two output bits, and S is the control bit or selected bit, and D is the input bit. Here one into D multiplexer you have to use only one input uh, like uh, D data input D. And uh, we get our two outputs I naught and I one. We have to select the particular uh, control signal by using only one signal. Yes. Please uh, observe the can observe the block diagram of one into D max. You know, observe the only one single input and uh, only one single selected line that is the control signal. We can get I naught and I one two outputs. And we can observe the figure B. The uh, one into two D multiplexer is, uh, shows the uh, combination of logic gates. Here, two gates are the AND gates and only one uh, NOT gate. We can observe data input line D is select uh, connected to two AND gates. And uh, another input of the AND two input AND gates are. One is for S and another one is for S bar. You know about the S value. Yes, if S equal to zero, then S bar equal to one. If S equal to one, you have to use the S equal to one and S bar equal to zero. If you have to use depending upon the signal, that means control signal. Yes, the data is uh, data is distributed from the 
i not and i one get to outputs <coughs> this is the construction of 1 into 2 max d max and 1 into 4 d, uh, d multiplexer the 1 into 4 d multiplexer uh, consists of one data input that means bit uh, two control bits and four output bits here d is the input bit and i not i1 i2 i3 are the four output bits and uh, s not s1 are the control bits here uh, one into four d multiplexer has uh, only one input signal that is mean by d that uh, have to use uh, control signals uh, by depending upon the output combinations here one four is the number of output uh, variables i not i1 i2 and i3 in these output variables i have to uh, use the convert the control signals depending upon the control signals you have to require two control signals in one into four d max these are the s not and s1 so here and observe the block diagram of one into four d max here d is the input signal and s not s1 as the control signals and i not i1 and i2 i3 are the uh, output signals of the one into four d max you can also observe the figure b these are the combination of logic gates in uh, in 1 into 4d max here you uh, can see the d input only d input is connected to the all four gates uh, that means and gate you can use this uh, construction you can use uh, three input and gate one of the input is d and remaining two inputs are you have to use the multiple that means uh, uh, control signals s not and s1 the combination and We know about the two variable representation of uh, combinations uh, two power n equal to four. That means two power two equal to four combinations. You can select s not and s one in four combinations. If first combination is s one s not is zero and s one is zero, that means zero zero condition. You can select the first two i not uh, gate in s one bar line and s s one s s not bar and s one bars. Through the NOT gate, and second combination, uh, second AND gate, we can get I one. One of the input is D, and the remaining two inputs are S NOT zero and S one is one. That means zero one condition. We get I one value. And third gate, we can see the third gate. We have to use one of the input is D, and remaining two inputs are S one, S NOT is one, and S uh, S one is zero. you can get uh, i2 value and finally you can observe the fourth and gate uh, one of the input is d and uh, remaining two inputs are s not 1 and s 1 1 1 1 can get i3 value this is the construction of 1 into 4 d max so and next type of uh, d max is 1 into 8 d max that means one input and uh, eight outputs The one into eight D max consists of one data input bit, three control bits, and or eight output bits. We can require for uh, by selecting the by distribute the eight number of inputs. We get or uh, uh, we can require three uh, control signals in one into eight D max. Here I not I one I two I three I four I I five I six and I seven are the eight output bits. Used for data distribution, and S not S one and S two are the controls bits, and uh, D is the only one bit that means input data. You can see the block diagram of D max of one into eight. Here D is the input signal, only one input signal, and S not S one S two are the three control signals for distributing data in eight combinations like I not two I seven. I not to I seven are the eight output lines of the one into eight D max. You can observe the um, uh, construction of uh, one into eight D max by using the logic gates. Here you can uh, require eight number of outputs like uh, I not to I seven. Then we can use by using these I uh, eight and gates are used for output lines. In this construction, we can use four. 
and uh, four input and gate here one of the input is common is uh, connected to all the gates are d these are the input line we have to use in dmux and remaining uh, three inputs are selected by the control signals s0 s1 and s2 we have to use first condition we can observe the and gate i01 here we can first uh, four four input and gate here to connect first one d input and second input is connected to s0 that means s s0 bar and third input is connected to s1 bar and fourth one is connected to s2 bar here bar represents the zero so the first condition 0 0 0 which is the combination of you can get i i not value in this way you can construct the it one into d max by using eight eight uh, and gates by using three selected lines s not and s1 and s2 this combination up to last one that means i a i7 we have to use combination 311 that means s not 1 s1 1 1 s2 2 s1 s2 1 these combinations we have to select <coughs> the control signals we can get i7 value so this is the construction of 1 into 8 dmax in this construction we have to use eight number of four input and gates for output combinations <coughs> these are the types of d multiplexers next applications of d multiplexers the applications includes <coughs> d multiplexers are used in clock data recovery solutions clock data recovery solutions we have to use a clock a digital clock like uh, 01110 combinations uh, the recovery solutions are, are by using the d multiplexers d multiplexer along with the multiplexer is necessary for any communication system for data transmission like the encoding and decoding in previous slide i have to discuss one of the point is the d multiplexer is as a decoder we have to decode uh, if you have to convert the decoding function before to the encoding that mean uh, after encoding the d multiplexer along with multiplexer is necessary for any communication system for data transmission d multiplexers are used in atm packets and broadcasting the and the output of the alu that means arithmetic logic unit is stored in respect to registers using d multiplexers you know about the memory elements like uh, uh, the uh, memory elements like ram or rom we have to use the number of registers to store the data that the particular registers we have to use the particular data by using the d multiplexer like uh, alu operations they acts as a serial to parallel converter we have to use a serial to parallel converters uh, used for d multiplexers they are also used in wavelength routers these are some applications for d multiplexers you can observe the diagram for what are the applications of d multiplexer single source like uh, input is single input we have to use in d multiplexers any type of d multiplexers like 1 into 2 and 2 1 into 4 1 into 8 and 1 into 16 1 into 32 you have to use only one in data input that means single source you have to convert multiple sources like uh, bluetooth speakers fax machine printer smartphone multi destinations by using this smartphone you have to distribute the number of stations Uh, by by using the selectors that means uh, combination of control signals these are the different uh, some applications of d multiplexer next advantages of d multiplexers the advantages includes transmission of audio or video signals require combination of multiplexers and d multiplexers the uh, transmission of audio and video signals require combination of multiplexer and d multiplexer you have to uh, for example can observe the uh, cable network tv you have to use a single line cable network 
that uh, provides the multiple channels by using the a uh, single cable uh, wire you have to convert these multiple uh, single input line into the multiple number of channels like frequencies by using the demultiplexer and multiplexer processing they are also used as a decoder in security systems like banking sectors we have to use the encoding and decoding process uh, multi and uh, multiplexer and demultiplexer sorry uh, uh, and uh, play an important role in banking sectors because we have to uh, security systems we have to use the decoding we have to put the or we have to use the uh, secret code or single digit numbers or uh, OTPs like one time passwords there is a security system so you have to use the demultiplexers the combination of demux with mux increase the efficiency of the communication system we you know about the routers i have to uh, wifi routers or uh, cable network tvs or uh, telephone networks we have to use a single like uh, demultiplexers or multiplexers provide the multiple uh, data is uh, we have to provide the distribution from through the only single line they have to provide a proper uh, outputs in communication systems these are the advantages of demultiplexers so uh, disadvantages are there we have to include wastage of bandwidth might occur that means we have to multiple number uh, use the bandwidth we have to require a frequency for uh, transmission of data in communication system the requirement bandwidth is uh, wastage for uh, demultiplexers delay might occur due to the synchronization of signals we have to use uh, a multiple number of signals we have to convert our uh, many to we have to use many to function or on to many functions we have to synchronize the particular signals may uh, delays we have to uh, the particular uh, time delays are occur there are some disadvantages of the demultiplexers so ma uh, e uh, so in this class uh, the discussion in the about topics are uh, what is meant by demultiplexer and types of demultiplexers and applications of demultiplexer and advantages and disadvantages of demultiplexers so demultiplexer is a data distributor like a single input uh, we have to use single input and a number of distribute the number of multiple outputs these uh, demultiplexer that means one to many function we have to use in number of applications like uh, security systems in communications or banking sectors the importance of demultiplexers are very useful our daily, daily life so this is a class for D multiplex thank you